Now, we go from the sociopathic, the Scrooge-like, to the just, I don't even know. I don't even understand, even after all this time of doing his impression and trying to get into this mind. I get that he sounds like Mace. I get that he's very uh, confused. I get that he's got this stealth arrogance, which is kind of awesome. I'm at peace with confusion. I'm at peace with confusion. Ben Carson, emerging from being stuck in an elevator, talking about the ride that his great-grandparents took as immigrants into this country, was on Sirius XM on Tuesday with the great Armstrong Williams. And he had some thoughts about people uh, who were poor and their outlook on life. Let's check this out. I think poverty to a large extent is also a state of mind. You has the right mindset. You can take everything from them and put them on the street. And I guarantee you, in a little while, they'll be right back up there. And you take somebody with the wrong oh, mindset, yeah. you can give them everything in the world. They'll work their way back down to the bottom. He's a doctor. So, uh, so, I mean, the thing to really be aware of this, and I'll get to the impression in a second, is that this is what Republicans think. This is not like, oh, there goes crazy Ben Carson talking about grains and dinosaurs or whatever. This is what they think. They think that someone who does not have money for any reason whatsoever, it is a perfect reflection of their personal and moral failings, and therefore they deserve endless cruelty and punishment and maybe potentially some coaching on having a more positive outlook done preferably through a church. That's what they believe. So Ben Carson here is not being an outlier talking to Armstrong Williams and going, it's really about, you could give me, like if you gave me a giant diamond throne, but if you have the wrong mindset, you'll lose the throne. This is Ben Carson distilling the essence of Republican Party politics. When Paul Ryan a couple years ago was pretending that he had some basic moral imagination about poverty. This was one of the things that he actually was putting in play. This notion that, well, of course we're going to make sure that people don't have food, health care, resources, or access to anything. Um, but I want them to have life coaches. I want them to have a game plan. Now, game plan and mindset and everything else matters. And maybe on the extreme there is a fraction of people in this country and on any bell curve that can rise and go anywhere in spite of exceptional circumstances. And then on the other extreme, maybe there are people who through a variety of actual mental health issues, not mindset, might be undermined regardless of their position. But the vast majority of people exist in a interplay between social and economic forces and where they can have their own interventions in terms of their Education levels, personal mindset, social networks, and everything else. That's how the world works. And government is supposed to be there to provide a basic baseline for everyone. Everyone needs to have health care. Everyone needs to have housing. Everyone needs to have education, period. You don't need to be exceptional to earn those things in any decent moral society. And then, if you want, provide a mechanism to achieve more if that's what you choose. So Ben Carson right there, he goes, it's all just a mindset. That is the Republican policy. It's all just a mindset. Read the secret and visualize giving your kids food because we're certainly going to make sure you don't have any. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.